Ash dieback is a major problem for the British countryside. It's probably going to kill over 50% of our ash trees over the next few years. That will cause a huge change to our landscape. It will affect carbon cycling in the UK, it will affect uh, the water cycle, it will affect forestry. Foresters like to plant ash in certain situations, now they can't really do that. And it has knock-on effects of course for wildlife and for everyone who loves the British countryside. Ash dieback is caused by a fungus. To start with, you see an ash tree literally dying back. That means its canopy of leaves starts to retreat and you start to see bare twigs sticking out the top of the canopy. And gradually that effect increases and the canopy gets smaller and thinner. You also start to see lesions on the bark. You see these brown patches, often diamond shaped and uh, underneath them you have this brown rotting tissue where the fungus has infected and eventually trees die from the disease. We're studying the DNA of ash trees to understand what variants in their DNA give them resistance to ash dieback. So when we collect a sample, we collect some leaf or some bark or a bud. and we take it back to Royal Botanic Garden Kew to the lab where we extract DNA. We want to look at the differences between the genomes of the different trees, especially the differences between the healthy and the unhealthy trees. We're hoping that we're going to find differences in the same places in the genome as we found them in a previous experiment, and if we do, that will confirm to us that we really have found the right sites in the genome that are associated with resistance. Another question we can answer with that data, do we find that there are certain differences in the genomes between the older and the younger trees, particularly at the sites in the genome that we think are associated with ash dieback resistance? If we do find there's this shift across the generations, that suggests that natural selection is already selecting for young trees that are more resistant to ash dieback. I'm optimistic that this research will help us to ensure that ash trees are still present in the British landscape for future generations.